Hey there, and thanks for checking out Dash Timer's top 10 features. In case you'd like to check out one or two specific features, here's when I'll be talking about each one in no particular order. Now, really quick, before we get started, I just want to showcase the intuitive nature of Dash Timer's app layout. Controls are on the left, workout metrics are on the right. It's as easy as that. And then, of course, we've got a bunch of other features accessible through this menu on the bottom, and we'll talk more about them later. All right, let's get started. Number one, several workout modes. Dash Timer is the best Apple Watch solution for track and field, outdoor runs, indoor runs, bike rides, HIIT workouts, strength workouts, and more. You'll see why throughout the video. To change your workout type, just hit this change button. Number two, built-in athletic stopwatch. Tap anywhere to start or stop the stopwatch. Swipe down to reset and swipe up to view or add laps. Put laps away or bring them back with a swipe and scroll through them with the digital crown. The stopwatch is also nice because you can hold your finger down and release at the precise moment that you want the watch to start. Additionally, Dash Timer is smart enough to ignore unintended rapid taps, which is perfect for sprinting. There's never been a stopwatch built quite like this. Finally, you'll notice that if you're in a track and field workout or a strength or hit routine, the stopwatch is instantly accessible from the workout screen. Number three, complications. Dash Timer's complications can launch the app from your favorite watch face and use a status ring or text to update you on the status of your workout. Depending on space, some complications could even show up to three workout metrics. Number four, customizable data. Each quadrant of the workout screen displays a category of data that you can instantly cycle through at any time. Instantly toggle before or during a workout between total workout duration, current mile or kilometer time, or previous mile or kilometer split here. Over here you have your current mile or kilometer pace, average pace overall, or current pace. And over here you have your total distance or elevation gain. And over here you've got your current heart rate, heart rate max percent, target heart rate zones, or calories burned. Number five, manual segments. Okay, so there's a lot to this one. Easily add segments to runs and bike rides whenever you want, just like this. Just enter segments mode from the control screen, or use the sneaky swipe gesture from the workout screen. Up brings segments mode in, and down puts it away. Now when you do mark a segment, you'll see your split, distance, and pace for that segment, and can let it disappear on its own, or tap or swipe it away. Segments mode also lets you see current, segment-specific data throughout your run or bike ride too. Basically, any metric that once showed you data for your current or previous mile, now shows you data for your current or previous segment. Number six, auto segments. In a run or bike ride, regardless of whether you are in segments mode or not, you can easily have dash timer mark a segment and add a new one automatically. You can have this done at a custom distance or duration, just like this. Now you can always mark a manual segment whenever you want still, and your auto segments will resume once your next segment reaches your custom threshold. Number seven, pro stopwatch features. So the stopwatch features button gives you even more pro features for that stopwatch that we talked about earlier. Change the display to total seconds mode like this. If a workout is in session, you would save a paused stopwatch entry to your workout just like this. Timed haptics are also really neat. Let dash timer tap your wrist or beep at custom intervals of time. This is especially useful for track and field athletes to keep you on pace, but weightlifters, crossfit athletes, and others can use them as well. Timed haptics can time your rest intervals, sets, or individual reps. They can keep track of when to change activities, help you be precise with EMOM workouts, and more. And finally, command starts are the finishing touch to this monster of a stopwatch. Dash timer can give you starting commands and start the stopwatch when the pistol goes off all by itself. Number eight, saved workouts. View up to 15 previously saved workouts right on your wrist. For each workout, you can see custom workout notes that describe how you felt, what you did, who you ran with, or anything else that you can think of. Use Siri, dictation, emojis, or choose a default option for that. You can also explore heart rate data, zones, distance, duration, pace, saved stopwatch entries, and segment data for each workout. Need to see an older workout? Just visit the fitness app on iPhone or the health app on iPhone for all the same details that you see here on your wrist. Map data for your runs and bike rides is also included in the health and fitness apps on iPhone. Number nine, Apple Health. Speaking of Apple Health, completed workouts and dash timer count towards Apple Health's activity rings, trends, awards, fitness sharing with friends and family, and competitions. You can even export and share your workouts. Number 10, extras. This is sort of cheating because I'm clumping a few features here into one, but there's just so many little extras that I want to talk about. As long as a workout is rolling, you can use Apple Watch's physical buttons to control your stopwatch and workout like this. Dash Timer can also give you quick access to your currently playing music, podcasts, audiobooks, and more. And if these buttons aren't convenient enough for you, you can actually program the digital crown to open any of these features as long as you're looking at the control screen or the workout screen. By default, scrolling up opens to your music controls and scrolling down opens the stopwatch. However, you can tweak those defaults and settings. All right, that's just about it for this video. If you need help, you can always try tapping on this little question mark. However, I'd also encourage you to reach out at www.dashtimer.com for anything else you might need. 
And as always, I'd really appreciate if you could share the app with someone who you think might like it. Maybe rate it, leave an app for review, and so on. Thank you for your support, thank you for using Dash Timer, and enjoy those workouts.